We see all the shafts that the PGA Tour guys play. Is that the right one for you? Or is it a stock shaft that manufacturers offer? Let's dive in deeper and talk about that situation. Guys, welcome to the tour van. Danny Farrell, master fitter at Second Swing, partnered with the legend, Larry Bobka. Well, just, I'll makes give me that feel, one. just makes me feel old. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about shafts. Yep. Oof. So stock versus aftermarket. Aftermarket meaning it might have a little bit of an upcharge to it, but we'll talk about the differences between stock and aftermarket and why a player might go into that realm. And the misconceptions and the myths yes. and everything. Yes. Uh, you know, having worked at two manufacturers and helped start UST, I'm pretty versed in stock shafts versus That's aftermarket why I grabbed shafts. That's uh, Well, <laughs> so, you know, what is a stock shaft? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. stock shaft, I mean, if you go back to the days, and I, I'm going to take you down a little bit of road. Let's go back to the 80s with, let's go back to the 80s with Wilson. Okay. We had a stock shaft. We had, we had a stock dynamic shaft. There wasn't a lot of shafts available back then. Okay. We had a standard weight steel. We had a lighter weight steel. Okay. You know, graphite was just starting to come in. Okay. Fire sticks in the late 80s. Um, so stock shafts were really basically the shafts that we took maybe a dynamic pattern, changed it a little bit for okay. Wilson, okay. but really didn't do all that much to it. Okay. okay, let's fast forward to modern driver technology. Here we go. Okay, okay. building ahead. Um, in a previous video, we talked about the difference between older drivers and newer drivers. Yes, we did, yeah. Okay, so now what's the process? So the engineers build a driver head, okay? Mm -hmm. I would take it out on tour a Titleist and have players try it. Yep. On the other side, they would do consumer testing. Yep. So they would basically pick three or four different shafts from different manufacturers mm -hmm. that they felt would be good for the general public, the general population. And I, and I don't mean that in a bad way, yeah. but it's slower swing speeds. Than okay. tour players, yeah. Right, it's not PGA Tour swing speeds. It's yeah. also players that don't necessarily hit the center of the face all the time. Correct. So okay. which one is gonna perform the best? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of time and effort put into those stock shafts. Right. Uh, I personally use a stock shaft in my ping driver. Okay. You know, I, I'm not as fast as you are. I like the feel of it, feel. I hit it. Mm. I need a little bit more spin, okay. so I hit it and I really like the way it feels. Right. Okay. And to talk about feel, mm -hmm. that's kind of that's kind of where we need to talk about the yeah. difference between stock shafts versus aftermarket shafts. Yeah. You know, you're talking about the construction of the shaft, yep. where these might have a little bit of torque, a little bit more torque. Well, what's, what's torque? Yeah. Torque is the resistance to twist, mm. but it's also the feel at the bottom. Okay. If I'm slower, I need a little bit more torque to help me square that face. Yep. Okay. Yep. PGA Tour player is going to want a more stable tip yes. because they're faster and yep. they can square it on their own. Yep. So, i.e., that's why they go to some different shafts. And yep. we see players all the time. We have. We have high school players, we have college players, yeah. we have, you know, the, the ex-hockey players who yes, come in who absolutely. have tons of speed, yeah. ex-baseball players, mm -hmm. you know, they're looking for that firmer feel. Right. You know, I'm actually looking for something that I feel like I don't have to work hard at. Right. So that's really the key when it comes to shafts is finding, finding the one that feels good and that performs well. Yes. Why don't you talk a little bit about aftermarkets? Aftermarket. So you talked a little bit about the construction of the shaft itself, yep. right? So there's some materials that go into the stock shafts. Now we're going more into the premium where the weight tolerance is, is different, right. okay? Just because it says 55 or 65 on that shaft, 
it may or may not play to that weight in a stock shaft. Correct. But when you go into something more premium, that's where the tolerance or weight changes from shaft to shaft get tighter. That way you know this plays at 64 grams in the head. So you can get the swing weight a little bit better. With different materials going into the shaft, that can improve feel as well. Right. right? So that's a big thing in golf is feel. And every shaft is going to bend and load and deflect differently than another. Yeah, years ago, the, used to have a used to have a uh, used to hang a weight yeah. and get a bend profile on every exactly. shaft. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it was interesting because having being old enough mm. to be from the steel, and you know, some of us even probably remember titanium shafts that were around <laughs> for a while, and you know, then into graphite. Mm -hmm. Well, the bend profile of a steel shaft is very uniform. Correct. Okay. Yep. The bend profile of a graphite shaft is not as uniform no. because of the construction. Yep. A steel shaft. A steel shaft is basically a tube with similar uh, th wall thicknesses that goes from, say, 600 uh, size in the grip down to three in a in a wood shaft goes down to 335. Yep. So it tapers down. Correct. But it's laid up differently. Yeah. Every one of these shafts bends here differently. Yeah. bends differently yeah. and is laid up differently. Yeah. This one probably has higher modulus material in the tip. Right. What is higher modulus material? Here we go. Okay, higher modulus material basically is, it's, it's weight to strength ratio is less. Okay. So it is more expensive. Mm -hmm. it, makes a firmer tip, okay. it makes the layup a little bit different, okay. that's going to help keep that torque or that tip stiffness right. down and gives it that firmer feel. Right. And again, it's good for some players, it's not good for some players. Yeah. And you know, that's why as we go through, as we go through driver fittings, mm -hmm. we make sure that players get a chance, especially if you wear a moderate to higher speed player, mm -hmm. you're probably going to hit a few aftermarket shafts. Absolutely. Now, every manufacturer between Ping, Titleist, Callaway, TaylorMade, mm -hmm. and, and even the other manufacturers like Mizuno and Trixon, yep. they've got stock shafts. They have stock custom shafts, yep. which are more along the lines of an upgraded shaft. Yes. But we also have shafts here that they don't offer Correct. that we can fit you into also. Absolutely. So there's there's a there's just a plethora of yeah. sh of, sh <laughs> of shafts for you to take a look at, yep. you know. But our job is to keep it away from the confusion. Right. Right. Okay? I, I want to simplify this down to the kind of the base level. Ultimately, guys, a shaft is a timing mechanism more than anything right. to help deliver that club head to the ball properly. So if you haven't been fit before. Guys, come in, test some of these shafts, see what they offer for you. I had a guy that touched 200 miles an hour ball speed this yep. year, and he fit into a stock shaft. Yeah. Loves the feel, got the great performance. We tried aftermarket, and it just didn't fit his style best. So that's kind of where we need you to come in, get fit, try some of this stuff. Yes, we have white lab coats on to learn some <laughs> of these shafts, right? Kind of that club doctor, but guys, Come in, see what the latest and greatest has to offer. Feel is different from player to player. So if you like what you saw here, hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know what shaft you play in your driver.